welcome to the ACC Network Extra Halftime Show here in our new house studios on the campus of Syracuse University. I'm Ailey Weiss alongside Ian Nicholas. We're very happy to be with you today. Ian, a lot has happened in this first half so far. What are your first thoughts? I mean, my first thought is, you know, where was Georgia Woolley, right? The player that was tapped to fill in the role of DeAsia Fair. She hasn't played so far today. Don't think she's dealing with anything super major, but without her, Syracuse hasn't skipped the beat. Well, you just said it. They've been on a roll, the pedal to the metal, all first half. Let's take a look at what just went down. They came out strong. A big issue that they had last year was getting some of those boards, getting those second chance opportunities. Here you see those big down low, grab it, dish it out, switch the three. Yeah, and you know that's something that Felicia Leggett Jack is so proud of because when she played here, Ailey at Syracuse, she was a big. But you know what? If Sophie Burroughs and Olivia Schmidt are going to get open from the perimeter, she's going to let them let it fly as well. Their defense was on par as well. See here, they got caught up a little bit on the previous play. They tried to trap, just ended up being open on the outside. But you want to put that pressure in the paint. You'd rather give up a three than an easy jumper in the paint. Sure, and also you want to try new things, right? This is a completely new group this season. So you want to see what things can we do defensively? How can we pressure teams down the floor, especially a team like Damon that is going to feel the pressure of playing in a place like the Dome? And you're even getting some new faces here involved. Potts just had a nice three from the corner. They're just seeing much more dynamic and a lot more different areas that they're attacking from on offense. They're shooting the ball really well, right? Even Angelica Velez, who's expected to be the starting point guard of this year's team, filling in, replacing DeAsia Fair. I mean, she was one of the best three-point shooters in the country last year, Ailey, but it's been a team effort so far in this first half, four of 10 from deep. You would really like to see that without Fair, this team still is gonna have a chance to burn you from beyond the arc. How about that rebounding differential right there, Ian? Oh yeah, I mean, that's huge, right? You return a lot of veterans. That's one of the strengths of this team. And even without Georgia Woolley, right? I mentioned her off the top. She's a great wing, doing a great job rebounding. Without her, it's been the veteran core of Kyra Wood and Saniya Wilson, who've done really nice down there. Well, you just mentioned Kyra Wood. She's been a star so far in this first half. They're going to look to her as a captain this year to really step up for Syracuse, and she was doing that so far today. And not only a captain this year, Ailey, a three-time captain for Syracuse. You don't see that very often at the collegiate level, and ever since transferring over from Temple, when she was named a sophomore captain as a transfer, she has stepped up every single season. The biggest thing with her, and she's shown it right now, you know, nine points. She's the team's leading scorer at the break without Georgia Woolley. The big theme with Kyra over her now three years at Syracuse, the confidence. Coach Jack believes in her to get it done. Now you're starting to see what Coach Jack sees on this stat sheet. Not only does Coach Jack see it, her, she mentioned during the media day that her teammates also pick the captains on these teams. So that goes to a number of what Kyra would have off of the court as well, creating that chemistry and that bond with these women on the bench. Right, I mean, this is a team that she always wanted to play for. She grew up in Buffalo. She takes great pride in this program. Her voice has continued to grow over the years. And on a team where pretty much half the group is new, Ailey, her voice is resonating. Well, you just talked about that half of this group is new. Coach Jack went out and recruited a lot of people, got some really good transfers as well. But there's three in particular that have really been showing up so far today. Yeah, I mean, one player, but I know we already mentioned it. We're going to continue to mention her because she's going to have the ball so much this season. It's Angelica Velez. Uh, I know Olivia Schmidt's a good shooter from, uh, from Long Island, and she makes uh, Damon pay for leaving her open on the first possession of the game. And, you know, always nice to see Sophie Burroughs get involved. That was all an assist from Velez. And, this was my favorite highlight of the first half, right? Velez showing that she can beat you off the dribble, draw the defense in, and then find Maddie Potts, who you also see here at the top of the key. She actually enrolled at Syracuse in January, didn't play in the spring alien. Now she's actually had a chance to show what she can do from deep. Well, we know Coach Jack loves to recruit from down under, so that was her new That's one. That's three of now. Yeah, there you go. But these three have been standouts so far. There's a lot of potential coming, and this year, a big difference we're going to see is that they're going to be playing much more of team basketball. Last year, it was the DeAsia Fair show, and rightfully so. She was a standout, not only at Syracuse, in the country, but with that absence now, they're going to have to fill that spot, and it's going to take multiple players to do so. Right, we mentioned it, right? Going four for ten from deep, it was a team effort to get to that mark. It's been a team effort to get to over the 50-point mark 
in this first half. Two freshmen that we didn't even mention, Kira Scott, a four-star recruit, and Shy Hawkins, the highest-rated recruit. Alicia Leggett Jack has landed during her time here at Syracuse. Both of them showed flashes in the first half, too, and they're going to play a big role in replacing a presence like Fair as well. These youngins are definitely going to be helping the Syracuse program this year and in years to come. We'll catch you on the other half of the break when we talk about a lot more going on in all of the ACC.